Hey everybody, my name is Johnny from the PL Gamer Q Hagen YouTube channel. And today, it's going to be a recent pickups video. It has been a long time. I normally combine my recent pickups and my, um, uh, my board games and video games into one video. I can't do that today because this be very long. Um, so I'm going to do is going to have one for board games, one for video games. This one is video games. And I've gotten a few. So I'm going to start with gaming related items like I normally do and start with just what's here in front of me. Then I'm going to start moving this way. There's a lot. I mean, this stuff is piled up here pretty high. But finally, I would get a SNES uh, controller for the Switch. Allows me to um, play NES, SNES games with that controller because that's I mean, it's what I'm used to, what I'll enjoy. Okay. I also picked up, you'll notice a theme here, there's a lot of stuff that goes with a lot of games together, but I picked up a Starlink Battle for Atlas controller mount, an extra one. You'll see why I got that here in a few moments. I also picked up a new headset. This is like a G432 four, three, two, four, four, three, uh, Logitech one. Picked it up because it was on sale at Best Buy. It was just really cheap, so I, I needed one because my old one was like an old, old Logitech um, one that I just couldn't stand anymore. It was one that was on the year, and I prefer the over the year ones. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess all this would be gaming related. Okay. Uh, where to start? <laughs> this is like crazy. Um, all right. I'm going to start with not going through these all individually because I got so many of them. Um, started playing a game. Like I picked up Lego Dimensions quite some time ago and really enjoyed it. But I kind of stopped playing it. Then my son got into it and... Then they, there's like they stopped making the stuff. It's kind of hard to find the uh, Lego Dimension stuff. So I kind of went on a buying spree and finding them here and there, anywhere I could find them really cheap, and I started picking them up. So I picked up <laughs> these are the ones that we've opened so far. And then I also picked up the uh, Fantastic Beast, which he has not opened. Then we have like. <laughs> The uh, Mission Impossible, Goonies, Superman. Now I'm dropping them. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Ghostbusters. Did not pay 11 bucks for that. I paid like three at like the half price books. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Let's go ahead and grab this two down here that I dropped. Another Lord of the Rings one and a Chimera or Chima, Chima. I'm not sure how that's said. I've never watched the Lego show for that. Okay, put those down there so I can actually get to the rest of the stuff. And I got the um, this is the Batman Lego Batman movie one. All right, Whew. let's see here. Also, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I like the VR stuff. So they announced that you can do the Quest Links, the, the I think it's called Quest Link, but you needed a link cable. I found the Oculus Quest one. I got this for 10 bucks. If you're wanting, wait a minute, that thing's like 80 bucks normally. Yeah. Well, um, where I work, they allow, since I basically went and picked up a few TVs for them, um, I got to use my Best Buy Rewards card on it. So I got the reward zone, reward zone points, and I had so many of them, got it for 10 bucks. All right. Um, got a, got three of these for the Switch lights. And if you've watched my videos, you're like, wait, you've never seen anything about a Switch light. Well, and why did you get three? Well, because ah, next part go into 
I've got one, two, three switch lights, and a fourth. Um, basically, we got this one first for my son because it's like, well, we need one that the uh, Joy Cons don't come off and it's a little bit lighter for him. So he got it, and I play with him a lot on, the, on it. So I was playing, I was like, I kind of like this. So I got the gray one. And then my wife, she was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So we got her the teal one. And then she saw the Pokemon one coming out. So she got the Pokemon one. Okay. Also, another gaming item I picked up. PS4 Pro. Uh, it had a big deal on them on Amazon, so I picked it up. So far, my son has played it more than anybody because he likes the Spider-Man game and he likes um, um, uh, Portal. Well, he, my son calls Lego Dimensions Portal because you got the portal that you put the little things on, so that's what he calls it. Okay, another gaming-related item is I got two of these. They were like five bucks each at a, like a used game store. Uh, we play the uh, on the PS3, we play this pirate, Dreadnought Pirate, something like that. It's basically zombies and you're shooting. It's a light gun game. And um, instead of holding the Joy-Cons like this, I got these so we could actually hold them like a gun and shoot. He really likes it, so I got two of these. Okay. Oh, another console. I got a, added another console to my collection. I finally, finally. I finally got a um, Virtual Boy. Uh, I got three games for it, which I'll show you during that section. I'm gonna take that one out so I don't forget because I was playing that one last. And it's kind of weird though. The controller on the Virtual Boy is like you got the two D pads. You got the it's it's a little weird, but. I like it so far. It's pretty. It's been pretty fun. Okay. More gaming-related items. Let's see. Oh yes, I found a multi-tap for my TurboGrafx 16. Well, uh, the story behind this, I'll tell you when I get to the games. And I got another um, arcade stick for the uh, TurboGrafx 16. Okay. You can tell I'm going to try to go through these a little bit quicker because there's a lot. Um, let's see. Duh. Try to make sure I don't. Well, here we are. Gaming related stuff. I'm doing a few things differently with my magazines now. I bought some uh, bags and boards I could do with comic books, but I did find a number of um, uh, Game Pro, uh, Nintendo Power. This is like my game informer. I, I I started putting those in the in the Mosso, but I found a old issue of Game Pro. I think actually, I actually think I might have included this on my last video of this Nintendo Power. Uh, so quite a few Nintendo Power magazines and my last Game Informer. They signed me up for the digital magazine last time I went there. I don't like digital magazines. I want the actual magazine in my hand. I don't want to deal with uh, digital ones. All right. So, don't, no, oh, everything's falling. As you can tell, this was carefully planned out. I was trying to, I was like, I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm tr still trying to make sure everything doesn't fall off the table. But I did kind of categorize them by console at least. And normally how I do it is I go from oldest to newest. And that's what I'm going to do this time. So the oldest, I believe, is the Virtual Boy. So we will do those first. Okay, Virtual Boy. What happened is I went to a game, to this, this um, used game store they have here. I don't even remember the name of it. Um, I'm not a biggest fan of it, but hey, they, they every so often they have some good stuff. But um, I got Wario Land, uh, 
Vertical Force. And I got Mario Tennis. Some of the reasons why I don't like the store, though. There's one main reason. Okay. They have uh, the Japanese version of Tetris for the Virtual Boy there for like 60, 70 bucks. And I'm sitting there looking. I was like, wait, Tetris isn't that much on the, on the Virtual Boy. So I was like, okay, let me actually look this up. And I looked up on my phone. It's like 20 bucks normally. And I was like, I was talking, I was like, yeah, why do you have that so much as well? And the guy looked at me kind of like, well, you trying? I was like, it's like, it's worth that much. I was like, no, 3D Tetris is worth 60, 70 bucks on the uh, Virtual Boy. Normal Tetris is worth like 20 bucks. Apparently he didn't like that. <laughs> I was just, I was just asking for, am I missing something? Did I misinterpret what the game was? Because I'm pretty sure it was just regular Tetris. So apparently, um, somebody kind of they he wasn't mad at me but he was mad because somebody had screwed the mower and and show uh, evidently they he got the amount of money for a 60 dollar game which is probably 30 bucks instead of a 20 dollar game so anyway okay after that i will say that the next game the next uh otis system i believe is my turbo graphic 16. okay and what I happened was when I went there, the guy was putting stuff in the cabinet, the older, like at half price books. Normally when they get an old, the stuff like TurboGrafx-16, they put it inside the case so that you just can't uh, get your, uh, what did he call it? Um, meat paws all over it. <laughs> he said they don't want people getting the, like, because apparently they had, with the older games, uh, people steal the manuals and um, just, if it's not tied down to it, they'll just they'll take the empty. They 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 say they have issues with people taking empty cases, and I'm like, okay, I can kind of understand that. Yeah, if it's an older game, especially Turbo Graphic 16 era, that you you're not going that they don't um, they might not um, they might have a loose cartridge for, and they see that you have the cart the case just sitting there, they might just take the case. So I'm pulling the tags off of them really quickly. I thought I had done that, but apparently I didn't. Um, but some of the games I got, I got, um, but what happened, but what was going on is when I was in the store, I was, the guy was just basically, he went, he opened the case up and started putting things in it. And I wasn't really, wasn't paying attention. And what really caught my eye was this. I was like, Oh, he's like, you get some turbo graphics 16 stuff in. He was, yeah, I'm about to bring it, put it out. I was like, okay. And, he, and when I said, oh yeah, I'd be interested in it. He goes, oh, okay. And he stopped putting the other NES cartridges and stuff in and just basically brought out the TurboGrafx-16 stuff and that he had the multi-tap with it. The, that, which allows you to, because the TurboGrafx-16 only has one controller port and this makes it to where you have five. So yeah, this is a must have for multiplayer games on it. And, um, so I thought he just had, oh, that was cool. And then he, um, he go, and then he was, he was like, oh, well, I think we have some games also. He went back to the back again and brought out a stack. He had like three more, but, but those I already had. But the games that I, that I got were Sim Earth, The Living Planet. I don't have a, a Turbo Duo. I wish I did. Now I haven't asked, did you get, at least get the, did you get a Dirt Duo in? He goes, nah. I was like, ah, that sucks, but I got that. I got Vigilante, Dungeon Explorer. Oh, some man stuck a sticker, sticker on the back of that one. I got uh, Tailspin, Fantasy Zone. Uh, this is a um, Japanese game, The Far East of Eden. I've never played it, don't know what it's about, but they had it. It was like 10, 15 bucks. I was like, hey, I'll probably, it's very rare to see these type of games, so I just picked it up anyway. Uh, Double Dungeon. And this one, which I actually played a bit, it's actually, I really like it. Alien Crush, which you think is Devil Crush or Demon Crush, something like that, is the part two to this. But this is actually, it's pretty good. Real, this is really good. All right. Now, next console would probably be the DS. Got this. My, my son loves Scooby-Doo. So, and I, this is one of the few Scooby-Doo games I don't have. So, well, I didn't have. I now have it. Is Scooby-Doo and the 
Spooky Swamp on the DS. He, he likes so, and me and him play them together. Uh, so far, his favorite one I think is a Night of a Thousand Frights on the GameCube, I believe, and uh, he really likes it. But then, okay, now that's the only DS game I had, so I'll go to um, try to make sure I don't skip over anything. PS3. Uh, they've had this uh, buy two get two free thing going on, and this is one of the games I got, and that is uh, that at GameStop, Silent Hill HD Collection. Really good. I mean, I haven't played that one, but I love the Silent Hill games. I've heard there's issues with it, so I don't know how good or bad that'll be. I'm hoping it's not. They're not horrible, but for understand, I think they said they fixed the one on the, on the PlayStation, but not the Xbox or the 360. So that's the reason why I got that one. All right. Uh, next game. I think the next ones are all kind of mixed together. I know the the Switch is the newest, which has most stuff for it, but I'll start with the Vita. Like I said, they were having a buy two, get two free sale, so I got some of these during that. So, I mean, got a stack of these. I got one here. Uh, I think this was from, is this Limited Run? I think this was a Limited Run game. I don't remember. Yeah, Limited Run. Um, this is Sinran Kagura, Sinran Kagura, however you say it. Bon Appetit, bon Appetit uh, full course. Got that. Uh, I like the, I like those. I like the the Sinran Kagura, Kagura, however you say it. I like those games, so I picked that up when I saw it come up. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's an, it's, and this is actually not a not their normal fighting. This is a weird cooking game. And like on the back, so like the girl's got her stomachs full where she's ate so much. So haven't played it yet. Kind of teased me off. Things I do like about the uh, limited run stuff, they do send a card with their game, and they generally have a full color manual. And um, I'm not sure when I would ever use this, but you got the, you've got these limited run ticket for some kind of a loyalty reward. I don't know what these are for, um, but not if there's if you can go if they have a live event you can go to it or something. But it's kind of cool. All right. Next is uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Just heard something. I thought my dogs are up here. Also got Aegis of Earth. Uh, Proto, Proto Novus Assault. Uh, some of these I got really cheap because... Um, actually, I got these four games together. Um, and the uh, Street Fighter... Uh, X, the Street Fighter Tekken, yeah, Street Fighter X Tekken, and uh, the reason because I buy, buy two, buy two get two free, and uh, so and these games were, I think, ten bucks each, so I got like twenty bucks. I got these four games, which is a really good deal, I thought. Um, the, I got this Tales of Cold Steel. I don't think this was a limited run game. No, this wasn't. This was just another game that they had. I bought at a half at a. Why would I buy it? I just got this one because it's 10 bucks. Okay, never mind. <laughs> thought this is another one of those buy two, get two free. But um, the Tales of Cold I, I, I remember when the special edition came out, I wanted to get it, but never did. So kind of lost my chance now. It's just like 100 bucks now, I think. And this one, my wife got um, Code Realize or something like that. So she seemed like it. would be interested in that game. Oh, let's go to... Oh, I skipped over one. I go for the Wii. I've actually found the Super Mario All-Stars limited edition. I have the CD actually from this. I got, I picked up before, but to actually get the box and everything with it, I saw that and it was really cool to get that. It was pretty cheap, it was like 10 bucks. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the, ah. since I didn't get many, I only got one PS4 game. Let's go to it, it's a pretty big one. I've been a huge fan of Shinmu for a long, long time. And they released a special edition from Limited Run. Um, as you can see, I still haven't opened this yet. I need to, I wanna play it, but I got it in and just so many things have been going on that I haven't been able to play it. So got that, really excited to play it. I'll probably, I don't know if I'll do an unboxing of it or not. This is the one from Limited Run. 
uh, it says there's only 5,000 of these, but it's kind of cool. And I'll see exactly what it is, how it is when I start playing it. All right. Come here. I need to reverse this stack again because too much to get too many games. Okay. Xbox one. Um, got the, I got Rocksmith, uh, 2014, 2014 edition remastered. This had the cable come with it. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I take it back. I do have another PS4 game, which I, I may have shown before. I can't remember. I'll show it anyway, just, just in case. But, um, uh, got this because I want to play the guitar. So I got a, actually got an electric guitar. Uh, it's downstairs. I didn't bring it up because I, don't, I wasn't sure if that'd be considered gaming related, but probably should have because it is for this. Okay. Also, I got the um, um, Starlink Battle for Atlas on the Xbox One. I uh, got this really cheap. It's on clearance. It says 20 bucks here, but it's another $10 off of that. So I got this for $10. Okay. And oh, the other PS4 game. I'll show you. I think this is new. Got the Dragon's Lair trilogy on the PS4. Uh, I got special edition from Limited Run. So it's happy because I loved it. I loved uh, these type of games. I mean, not sure where it's at, but I've got quite a few different types of games. I got like Brain Dead 13 and Space Ace and Dragons. I've got like Dragon's Lair and like almost everything now. Um, okay, but back to okay. Lost track. Okay, so now we we'll go to the switch. And this is where I got so many. The buy two, buy, get two free games, I kind of took advantage of that greatly. But this one didn't, but I got this at Best Buy. It was like five bucks because like they had one on the shelf. And I was like, I wonder, because I, I saw it, I was like, I wonder if Adrian would like it, my son. And so I picked it up. I, and I was like, I wonder how much it is. And they don't have those little price scanners. So I looked up online and it was like $5. I was like, wow, that's really good. Cause it has the Star Fox and everything in it. So got it. He really likes it. That's the reason why I got the, um, it's right here in front of me. Got this. Cause you can use this. We, we, we both have one and we play together. Okay. Now, oh man, I don't even know where to start with this. I just want to pick a stack. I will start with my limited run games I got for it. I got Double Switch. It's another game. It's like a full motion video game, like um, Night Trap. So I'm, I'm a fan of those. I, I grew up in an era, and it was really, to me, I really enjoyed them. So I picked it up. And I picked this up. Um, this is another one I got off of limited run, uh, Streets of Red. Kind of like a Streets of Rage game, which I'm, I'm a huge fan of those. Um, you see, I haven't opened any of these yet because, you know, how life gets sometimes. And this was on clearance at um, GameStop. And the clearance sticker they just stopped updating because I think I got this for 15 bucks was Toki. I was like, huh, that's pretty cool. So I picked it up. Now, let's move, let's go to this other big box one so I can get all those out of the way. And I got... Um, Ring Fit. It's, like, it's actually a really good game. So I was actually surprised how good it was. Yeah, buddy! I'll be back down in a minute, okay? Okay. Next, it is a a lot of games because there's a, qu quite a few here and I think I got more what to do with those other two yeah no matter I got enough to go over here all right so but because of all the buy two get two free deals and buy one get or buy two get one free that's been re going on recently I bought, bought quite a few I uh, bought flashback 25th anniversary 
I'm a big fan of Flashback and How This World and those games. I don't know how many versions of them I got, but got those. Really, so I'm really enjoying that. Actually, this one, they just had the um, the game case sitting on the shelf. And then when I took it up there, they actually had the collector's edition, the teen and all that stuff that's with it. And I was like, wow, that's actually pretty good. I got this one called a uh, V letter or oh, root letter last answer. Um, I saw a, a trailer for this. Apparently you have this pen pal and you lose touch with her and you go to find her, see what happened. And she's like been convicted of a murder or something and nobody talks to you. I think that's what the story of it is. I haven't played it yet, but that seemed to be what the story from what the trailer and everything was presenting. So does that be kind of an interesting uh, game? Then I got Nickelodeon Kart Race. This is for my son. Uh, but it's actually kind of fun. It's not as good. I mean, I, I prefer Mario Kart, but if you're tired of Mario Kart and want something different, it's pretty good. I also got the Lego DC Super Villains. My son, huge fan of the Lego games, like with the uh, Lego Dimensions. That's something I do wish. I do wish Lego Dimensions had a the portal for the Switch. That'd be awesome. I got this for my son, but he doesn't want to play it because he doesn't like the way it looks. It's the Aladdin and Lion King game. I played these so much growing up. I, and I got the Genesis box version because I have the Aladdin Genesis game. And I love it so much, but maybe my son will play it eventually. Okay. I got like two more stacks like this. <laughs> um... Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I have the game on the Game Boy, and I really enjoyed it, so I picked this up. Here's uh, Guacamelee, the one-two punch collection. Start playing it, it's really good. Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE Encore. I have it on the Wii U. I have the collector's edition on the Wii U. But I, having it on the go is so much better. Um, but I do kind of, I have, I played it just a little bit. I kind of have an issue because I've played so far on the Wii U and I'm like, I kind of want to finish it on the Wii U, but um, enjoy it, but I, I enjoy having it in my hand also. I also got the, Friday the 13th, the game. A has issues, but it's pretty fun. It's not a, if you got a bunch of people that are really good and they bully, and if you're not very good with Jason, and they basically will bully you and then literally just make the game, because you, I think you have 20 minutes to escape, or if the timer runs out, you win. And they will literally just stand around you, knocking you down over and over and over again. So there's a steep learning curve. And if you are Jason and you're not very good with Jason, you could get tortured. And if you're not very good as a survivor, the person that's really good at Jason may kill you in the first two minutes of the game. And you're supposed to stay in the game and wait for everybody else to die so that you get like 500 extra experience points. But if you're dead in the first two minutes and you have a group of people that are just in there torturing Jason, you're waiting there for 15 to like 17 minutes doing nothing. All right. Also got Ghostbusters the video game remastered. I loved the game on the uh, 360 that I have. I think I have it on Steam and like a few other versions of it. Very good game. Really enjoyed playing it. And I went back, started playing it again. I'm actually really enjoying it. I brought my son. Loves Sonic. So, Sonic Forces. Uh, I'm a huge fan of anime and Dragon Ball. So, I got the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Haven't played it yet. Um... Oh, got to tell you a story. Why do I have two copies of this? Yeah, this one's still sealed. I, um, my Amazon, my Amazon order was delayed. I was like, me and my some friends want to play it, so I was like, all right, screw it. I'll just go buy it at um, GameStop, send it back to, and send my other copy back to Amazon. Well, the Amazon order came in when it's supposed to, and I wasn't expecting it. So they set the mail down on the, my uh, 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 father-in-law and mother-in-law got the mail set on the counter, and it kind of sat there. I wasn't expecting the game, so I didn't open it. And I didn't open it for like a month. 
and I figured it out. I was like, that because I wasn't paying attention, I never had got it. And I was like, oh wait, I need to check and see if that could ever come in. And I looked, and it came in, and it had been passed. It's time to send it back. So I got a sealed copy. I'll probably end up giving it to somebody eventually. Uh, Helmut, the badass from hell. Buy two, get two free. It's pretty cheap. So got that. It was one of the free games. I got Ultimate Alliance, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. My son really loves this. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, this game I've been wanting for a long time. Picked it up, and I haven't played very much of it. I basically just went to the top of the mountain at the beginning of the game. If you played it, you know what I'm talking about. That's Dragon Quest 11. And here's another limited run game. Like I said, I get <laughs> Dragon Slayer on everything. Dragon Slayer Trilogy on the Switch. I also got Civilization 6. And is this a limited run game? No, this oh this is a buy two, get two free. I, one of those got has the uh, GameStop sticker on the back. Uh Moonlighter. Okay. Another stack. Um Luigi's Mansion 3. Actually, I got two copies of that because one for me and one for my wife. I uh, got uh, Monster Jam Steel Titans. My son loves monster trucks, so we picked that up for him. My son loves driving tractors around and stuff like that, so we got Farming Simulator 20. A lot of bad games. It's actually pretty fun. If you want a, a game that's kind of relaxed and you can just kind of sit back and just do a few little things, it's not bad. I kind of like the Vita version because it's kind of like the um, tablet version. It does the there's less you there's it's, I'm not sure even how to describe it. It's the tablet version, I believe, instead of the console version. But in this one you can do a lot more. Alright, oh that's just the case for Ring Adventure. Let's see, we also got Marvel Superheroes 2. <laughs> uh Portal Knight, Slain Back from Hell, and South Park South Park, the fractured butt hole. <laughs> Alright, another stack, and I think this will be the last of them, and then I'll do my board game video later. Um, oh, here's a bunch I forgot to take the sticker off of, but that'll be okay. Oh, there's my other copy of Luigi's Mansion 3. One for me and one for my wife. Okay, this is a game, they, uh, they is a buy two, get two free, and I, there's literally nothing else that I want. I, I saw there to get. This is Kotodama, The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa. I think I said that correctly. It's a weird like puzzle game, like virtual novel puzzle game. Um, there's like about seven stickers on this thing. Like they like they must have not been able to sell it or something. So, but I got it for free. But it was like <laughs> it's kind of weird to see that many stickers on a game. Um, then also got uh, Crystal Crisis. This one they had just put on the shelf, and it was the cheaper. It's like it was like I got it free, but it was seventeen ninety nine. Is how much they were charging for it? But I had bought like a bunch of games. I also got uh, Mutant Year Zero: Road to Eden. Happy Birthdays. Yep. Uh, Assassin's Creed. The Rebel Collection. I did not buy this one used because it comes with two digital games you get. You get. Got Monster Boy. <laughs> the new Super Lucky Tales. Oh, this is the game for the Star uh, Starlink that I already showed you. And Dead by Daylight. I play it on, on Steam. I have like 700 hours in Dead by Daylight. And I've stopped playing it because I don't like the way the game's turned out. But... On the Switch, it's, the controls are not as good. I like it on the PC better. But holy cow. That's a lot of games. I haven't played most of them. That's not good. I just need to sit down and just say, okay. Pick a game, start playing it, and enjoy it. Because what I've been doing recently has been kind of jumping around between things. And I don't think that's good. Because I never finish a game. Um, I kind of want to actually get immersed in something. It's kind of the reason why I got Dragon Dragon Quest XI. I really want to get into that game and just kind of suck me in and really play it. But, like I said, that's my recent pickups video. Hope you enjoyed it. 
and I will be back very soon with my board games, which there's quite a few of those too. But oh, sometimes you just look at it and go, holy cow, that's a daunting list of games to try to get to. But till next time.